Hey traders, today is Tuesday, February 13th, 2018, and uh, this is the Daily Trade Recap. So I had one trade today on CATB, made a, a killing on that trade, and I'll show you the entries and all that. We'll talk about that in a second. I just want to make a quick note on the SPY. So the S&P 500 finally, after so many years of going straight up, uh, has hit a what seems to be a top and is making a correction. Um, into that now if this were a small cap stock we'd be looking for first that that first initial washout which is the expansion to the downside and then we'd look for a consolidation range inside you can see that we're already starting to get on the daily a bit of a, of a wedge formation now this wedge if it breaks to the upside it means that um, th there's a really good chance that price is going to break continue breaking out higher and we could have another bull market uh, and I don't know if anybody's looking at this but if it does break lower, we can see the ex the range expansion happen, the same um, type of range expansion down to the 230s uh, on the SPY. Um, don't ask me what that is on the uh, ES futures contracts, but um, we could really see a continued sell-off, uh, meaning this could be only the tip of the iceberg if that wedge formation doesn't hold to the upside. Anyway, uh, not to get in fear into the market or anything like that, but uh, the point about talking about the S&P uh, 500 is just to talk about the low volume that we've been experiencing right now in the small cap NASDAQ stocks. So if you're trading NASDAQ stocks and you're a momentum trader uh, like I am, you're going to be looking for those volume plays, those big range days. Uh, you're going to be looking for a lot of market participants so that you know we can find our patterns and trade them accordingly according to our rules. Now it's, it gets a little more difficult once the volume is um, scared off of the small caps and everyone's uh, focusing on some of the big names that don't want to miss out on pullbacks uh, or on the, in the vol crazy volatility markets that have been uh, moving these markets so much. Um, and so uh, despite all that, it did manage to catch a trade on CATB. And by the way, I would expect this for the rest of the week as well is really strange volume, at least until we get some normalcy back to the S&P, not that going straight up is normal. Um, but we did have some nice opportunities. So CATB going out to the daily, this top left here is the daily chart. Uh, garbage stock. This thing's been moving down ever since that $17 high uh, since 2000, mid 2015, I should say. And uh, every spike over these moving averages has been sold, every single one. And, uh, you know, price spiked recently, I think up to about, what was that, 378 or so. That was uh, just at the end of the last year. And from there, it's been coming straight down. Not one green day, uh, I mean, one day that was above the previous close, I guess, or the previous open, um, the entire time. So this morning, there's some positive news on CATB. Uh, it is a pharmaceutical company and they had some live test results or some live results that were very positive. So the stock spiked up here, as you can see on the one minute chart in pre-market session. Came off of those highs in pre, um, notice the distributions of volume, creating these distributions of volume, consolidation, expansion to the upside, consolidation, expansion to the upside, just like in my video for day trading strategies for beginners. And uh, so what I was looking for was price to get up to 250 or even $3 to look for opportunities to start selling this thing. Now, I saw opportunities here to take some scalp trades, so I did. And I managed to catch, uh, not at the very top here, but I managed to catch a trade right at the pullback. Actually had a beautiful call in the live room. And I'll probably make a video, another video of that, highlighting that call um, but I, I placed my orders in here and I basically slammed a position down right at the reversal almost top taking me there um, and then managed to ride this thing all the way down so let me show you what that looks like here we'll chart it's a bit of a zoomed in version of the chart that I had up on my uh, on the live stream uh, and you can see that we had just that bullish momentum come in bullish momentum come in and then we had that the biggest volume spike of all which was this one right here and followed by a pullback into selling volume that tells me that this was a pullback i mean there was a variety of other reasons as we were watching the order flow in the level two we could see that sellers are really stacking this um was to be a, a flag formation or some kind of a 
um, some kind of a wedge formation. And when price broke through that, it had the opportunity to spike up and flush out those buyers. And so price moved up on lower volume. Sellers came in to attack that. We saw that in the order flow and I jumped in right away and I knew that was going to happen right about right about here due to the battle that had happened between buyers and sellers between the 1225 uh, and 1230 level. So beautiful entries there um, and then managed to take a piece on the way down, holding price, grabbing another piece here at a failure for sellers to move lower. Um, and then we had a bit of an upward momentum breaking back under the VWAP. Um, and those of you that wait for a VWAP break in order to get in short, that's a beautiful test right there. And then uh, managed to hold through, take another piece here at what I thought was another failure, but wasn't. And then I finally gave up and took my last piece at about 172. Um, obviously, the stock continued running here to the very end of the day down to 155. Um, so that teaches me I probably could have captured a little bit more off of that trade. But for the most part, I had already taken the majority of shares off um, in these two exits. And these guys were my runners. So fantastic trade here on CATB. Again, always looking at the higher time frame, knowing that this thing has um, a tendency to spike and then spike back down at whole or half numbers. Here's the 350. Here's the 250. You know, here's the five dollar. Um, and if you can't break and hold over those levels instantly, this thing is likely going to be selling off, giving you a really nice risk reward ratio there. Uh, giving me, I don't even know what that is, 10 to 1, I guess, or maybe maybe 8 or 9 to 1 risk reward ratio. So beautiful trade and look forward to uh, trading live with you guys again in the live trading room at activetraders.chat.